Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video is our little boy's nursery tour. I filmed this video on Saturday, which was the day before my due date. He hasn't made his appearance yet, so we're still waiting for him. Um, but I'm going to film a 40 week vlog after this, so I'll chat about that and chat about more about him in that one. Um, so I thought I would just get straight into the room tour. Um, I've tried to keep the room, I haven't gone for a theme specifically. It's just more sort of like a, um, a very neutral and maybe sort of a rustic-y but modern vibe going on in here. I wouldn't even say it's, it's not even really rustic. It's just sort of, I don't know. I really like it. There's no set theme, but the color scheme tends to be to more, more towards gray, white, and a little bit of black. I was also very conscious of keeping the room as clutter free as possible with Taylor's bedroom. When I first did her nursery, when she was born, um, I filled, you know, every single little gap with, um, with decor or baby stuff. And then as she grew older and accumulated more things, um, and the furniture sort of changed, I found it very hard to um, accommodate the new things that she was having. So this time I've really tried to make sure that I've not filled every single gap. There's a room for him to have more things put into the room as he grows older. Um, and there's, I feel like it's a room that he can grow into. The furniture isn't very baby specific. So I mean, not as much furniture, but the bits that I've put in here aren't baby specific. So he'll be able to use what I do have for him as he grows up later on in life as well. So yeah, that's it. Hopefully you enjoy and we'll get straight into it now. Okay, so we'll jump straight in. I'll just do a overview of the entire room before I go into detail with all the different bits and pieces. So you've seen a couple of things in, if you watch my vlogs, you would have seen a few of these things in my background. And if you watched my house tour, you would, would have seen the um, layout of the room before. That's the door. Okay, so starting when we first walk in, I've got this little door stop here, um, which is a little fox. It was from a lo local boutique. Um, I think I know the brand, so I'll try and find it online. If I can find it, I will put it in the info bar below. But I thought he was really cute. In case you haven't watched me before, I am obsessed with foxes, so you'll see quite a few around the room. Even though I wasn't really going for a theme, um, it kind of, they can seem to work their way in here. Uh, so once you walk in the door, the light switch is there. Um, that's going to be his laundry basket, which I picked up yesterday from Kmart for about, I think it was an even, I think it was $10. It was really, really cheap, um, but that'll do the trick as his laundry basket there. Um, this is a rocker we got from a friend. That won't stay there. That'll go out in our living room. Um, but it's just there for now. I want to get an actual rocking chair to go there for me to sit in um, while I'm nursing. Or, you know, rocking him to sleep or whatnot. So hopefully I'll get one of those soon. But I wanted to do this room tour before I went about getting that because it was taking me ages. Um, here is the cot um, and the mobile. This little section here. This is obviously my favorite part of the room because I think it just turned out really, really well. Um, the cot is a Buri, I think it's pronounced Buri Country Collection. Um, you can't get this particular brand, this particular style anymore because um, it's quite a few years old. Um, but we got it second hand. Um, and basically this will convert into a toddler bed. Um, the mattress is a little bit bigger than your standard size cot. So it's really good for being a toddler bed afterwards as well. Um, I'll just show you. These are just a couple of little toys that we've got. So we've got the Knitted Fox. I'm pretty sure he's the same brand as the one. That's the doorstop. And the little teddy bear. He won't stay in the cot. Well, neither will stay in the cot, but the teddy bear is just there. Um, he was actually given to Taylor when she was born. Um, the cot sheets, I can't really I'll see if I can get the... They've got a pinstripe through them. Um, these were, I think the brand is Peter Morrissey for Big W. I'm pretty sure it's Peter Morrissey. I could be wrong. <laughs> um, but they they fit this, this size cot. Um, and then the bed, bed skirt I made myself, I just bought some fabric from Lincraft and some hemming tape from Ikea and basically just made two rectangles and stuck them to these two sides of the cot because um, I couldn't find one that would fit that was in my price range. Um, the mobile I absolutely love. I got this. I can't really, it doesn't really do it justice. But um, I got this from, I think it's called the Allison Show is the website um, and it's made out of lots of little triangle um, leather triangles and then they have a tassel on the bottom um, and I loved the colors they're coming up kind of true to life on the camera um, but yeah it's absolutely gorgeous I love it so that's gonna be his mobile um, I'll put a link for that one in the info bar below 
Um, this was his main piece of artwork that's in the room. Um, it says let's go on, the, on an adventure. Um, the reason I chose this one is because my husband, whenever he takes my daughter out to the park, he always says that to her. So I thought it was really nice because that's something that they can remember their dad, that they can look at and think of their dad. Um, and it's just an, an, in an Ikea frame and the print is from Etsy. Um, I got this basket yesterday. This is from Kmart. It was, again, I think about $15 maybe. And I'm going to use that as his toy box. Um, I got the bigger size. So there was a small and a large. And I went for the bigger size because I knew it would fill up really, really quickly. And then I just placed a um, blanket um, there. A blanket over it so that when we're playing, he can um, I can whip that out on the floor. Um, while we're looking down here, the rug is from Pottery Barn Kids. It's got, it's a jute and chenille rug. Um, and I really, really like it. It's quite soft, like this, um, these little grey parts are really, they're the chenille, so they're really, really soft. So it's a bit more softer than your regular jute rug, but it still has that look, which I really, really like. Um, over here, I just have my hospital bag and my baby bag all packed with the nursing pillow. And then in the corner is the, um, Oh, what do you call it? The nappy bin. Um, so we're using an angel care one, which we used with Taylor and it worked out fine. Um, so this is going to be the changing station. I'll just show you the window as well. Um, the curtains are from Ikea. Um, I've lined them with block out fabric so that we can close them and the room will be nice and dark for him. Not so much when he's a baby, but when he is a toddler. Um, the change mat cover is from a store called Ivy Baby, which do custom sheeting, um, change table covers, boppy pillow covers, um, all that kind of thing with any fabric that you like and I loved this one the best so uh, I've just got that in a regular change pad and I've put a non-slip mat underneath so that it doesn't go slipping around everywhere when we're trying to change him. Um, we had a traditional change table with Taylor so we're going to see how this goes. I've still got the change table that we used for her um, but I'll see how it goes being on the actual um, chest of drawers and then if we need to bring in the change table we can but I actually like the look of it just sitting on the top there. Um, I am going to be putting some frames on the top on this side um, with his newborn photos in them but obviously we have not got those yet so they're not there now. Um, and then this pile of stuff is just a few pairs of pants that I got yesterday for him um, that I want to put through the washing machine before I put them away. We'll go into the drawers in a second. Um, down there is just a little activity station that Taylor had. I'm not a huge fan but it's there for now. We'll see if he plays with it. Um, we'll go into the wardrobe in just a second. Um, these prints are both from Etsy. I'll get them a bit closer. Um, the arrow one is from Ivy Baby as well, where the change mat cover was from. And um, this one, I can't remember where it's from, but it's from Etsy store, so I'll link it below because I'll have that those details saved somewhere. And then this is his Moses baskets. This will go in our bedroom um, when he comes, which hopefully will be in the next couple of days. Um, I think the basket itself, uh, it was a gift, but I think it was from Big W, and I think the... Um, the stand, uh, the stand's got the brand on it still, so I'll put that in a link below as well. Um, and then we're back at the beginning. So now we'll just go into the drawers and I'll show you how I've organised everything. Okay, so the first drawer in the change table, or the chest of drawers, um, this is his changing station basically. So I've got the new newborn nappies stacked up in here ready to go. Um, his wipes are here. Um, these are change mat, um, disposable change mat covers, which we use um, with Taylor. She was quite the um, blowout queen when it came to her nappies. Um, so to protect her change, um, her change mat, we would use one of these if we were having a particularly bad day. Um, so we'll do the same for him if he needs it. Um, in here I just have a couple of lotions, um, nappy rash cream. These are nappy bags. I have some nipple cream in there, although it won't stay in there. It's just there for now. And then again, some more... Uh, these were samples for nappy rash cream as well, but I tend to like the um, the Curash powder the best, and that will, that's in my hospital bag, so that'll come back in here once we're home. Um, and then I've just got a sample of a nappy pants, which that can just live there for now, and then a little pack of um, wipes. These back here are the um, cassettes for the nappy the nappy bin. I got a really good deal on eBay for them, so hopefully these ones all last for a good few months before I have to buy more again. And then here is, I've got disposable bib, which I didn't use for Taylor, but I thought they looked like they might do a good job on the occasions that we need them. So that's the first drawer. The second drawer, I've just, for now, I've just got refills of everything. So 
you've got more um, wipes containers. Those are wipes refills. Um, another travel size one, which I got. I think I got a couple of my baby shower, and then another sleeve of nappies. That is his nappy wallet, which I don't intend to use in the bag like I did with Taylor because it just weighs it all down but if I need to just run out quickly and I want something little I can just grab that and the bottom drawer just has his extra sheets and blankets um, and then these are mattress protectors as well so all these sheets and everything are in here easy to grab so the other side of the chest of drawers we have um, this is like his sort of underwear drawer I suppose. So in here I have his singlets which I've got um, newborn sizes here and then bigger sizes behind. Um, these are onesie short sleeve onesies, um, long sleeve onesies, um, his socks, there's some burp rags in there, there are pink and yellow ones but I figure it doesn't matter, he's just going to vomit up on them so it doesn't really matter, they're left over from Taylor. So I didn't buy any ones because I had plenty there. Um, and then all his bibs, which I don't think I've bought any bibs for him. They were all um, gifts or leftovers or hand-me-downs from Taylor. <laughs> so that's his top drawer. Second drawer, these are his onesies, which I tend to use for pyjamas. So it's really his pyjama drawer. Um, I have, again, I set the, separate them by... Um, size so these ones are actually two-piece ones so these ones aren't onesies they're just sets of pajamas which I think I've shown you this before in a vlog but how cute is that Buzz Lightyear one um, these are the newborn sizes zero to threes and then larger um, and then the back oh, and these are all the cotton sort of ones whereas in the back I have the same corresponding sizes but the flannelette version um, and then these this pile is for his um, sleep cocoons which I've shown in um my hospital bag video. So he's got, I think, about four of those. <laughs> the last drawer is just a junk drawer. So this, at the moment, has um, his baby monitor in there, which we haven't set up yet because I will put it where, obviously, we need it to go, depending on if he's in our room or in this room or wherever it is. So that's that's it, ready to go, but I just haven't put it anywhere. Um, that's my tripod um, bag. I have the mirror for the car seat a um, and the little sign for the car the baby on board sign um, this is for his pram like you can put your drinks and snacks and stuff in there um, some safety gear um, these are for the baby gates that need to go up when he starts to be mobile I think that's it uh, I will be clearing out the little bits and pieces shortly but um, they're always in there for now because Taylor doesn't go in the drawer and I had nowhere else to put them So that is his chest of drawers. Oh, and just here I have my um, list of last minute things to pack in my hospital bag. So that's all ready to go. Okay, so now we're looking inside his wardrobe. So this is the one side of the wardrobe and the other has hanging space. Um, this is the same as Taylor's wardrobe layout. Um, and I've sort of organized it in a very similar way. Um, so up the top, there's a uh, shelf that goes across the entire length of the wardrobe. Um, I just have some, some backup nap or some extra nappies, some newborn, um, the size up from newborn. And then that box is a box from Taylor's nappies, obviously. But um, there's clothes in there that he has been given that he needs to grow into. So size twos and up, which I decided to keep them out of the way. Um, then I'll show you the other side of the shelf when we get to that stage. Um, up here I've just got for now his towels and flannels and extra bath stuff. Um, that'll be moved into the bathroom pretty much as soon as he arrives but I just don't know which bathroom I'm going to use for him yet um, until we're actually doing it, whichever's going to work easier. So they're just in here for now um, and then I'll use that shelf for storage. Um, the second shelf just has these are his all his hats and beanies and that kind of thing. Um, Taylor has the same basket in her wardrobe. That works out really well. Um, that's just a um, apron for a few paint, like a a painting apron, which he was that was a hand me down from someone else, and then just a Santa book, which that'll go somewhere else as well. But I did have one. Taylor's got the same one, so I bought that for him too. Um, and this is just a collection of things. Um, this is the shampoo rinser for his bath time. Um, and inside I've just got all the dummies that I've sterilised and whatnot. Uh, I'm not sure where I'm going to put them when he's actually out and about and using them, but I just kept them in there for now. Uh, I've got a spare bottle brush for when he's using bottles. Um, in this shoebox is like his medicinal things, so um, thermometers and um, nail clippers and that kind of thing. Um, that's just a packet for my 
belly band thing which I'll be keeping until I do a review on it so I can show you the actual packaging and then these are the frames that we're going to use for him for his newborn photos that I got to go they're going to go on the chest of drawers they just have some <laughs> prints in them from Taylor's birthday party all right so first draw <clears throat> Um, first draw, I have all his uh, longer pants. Um, again, I've arranged them by size. So I have newborns, um, I have newborn leggings, um, newborn track pants, um, zero to three months or larger track pants, um, larger leggings. I think those are some jeans that he won't fit into for a little while. And then again, larger track pants. So we have an assortment there. Um, we didn't have many newborns. I think I've only got three pairs of newborns I've just bought a whole bunch yesterday which I'll do a little haul a little haul for so you'll see them um, these this, this is his short straw <laughs> um, so I don't know when the weather's going to change so I didn't want to go ahead and buy a heap of shorts that weren't going to fit in when it does come summer but that's where all his shorts will go <laughs> and I will arrange them by um, size as well when they get when he gets here. some and um, this is his shoe drawer so these I did buy these two pairs of shoes from a store called Charlie and Me, I think it is. And then the rest were hand-me-downs from someone else, from my next door neighbour. So I am looking forward to that. I think I showed those shoes in a haul. And then down here for now, in this drawer in Taylor's room, I keep the shoes that she is still growing into. Um, but for now, he obviously doesn't have any shoes. So for now, I was just storing all my extra breast pads and um, maternity pads and things like that. So they will come out of there, but that's just what they are for now while we're waiting for him to come. Let's see. So the other side of the wardrobe is, like I say, a hanging space. So there's that shelf that goes across the top, and then there's a double rail, and then the bottom of the shelf. So the very top, I have um, another box of nappies in the infant size. So they're the, sec the, the second size, or the first size after newborn. Um, I have here his, these are his dad's basketball cards from when he was a kid. So I've kept them for him so that in case he is into that kind of thing, he's got like a full collection in there. I don't really know if he's got anything that's worthwhile, worth anything, but I just thought I'd keep them. Um, and the box has got a few of those kind of like, I think it's his dad's like shoes and like from when he was a baby and that kind of thing, a few photographs and stuff, some special things. That I wanted to keep for him. Um, the top rail I use for clothes that he's still going to grow. He still needs to grow into, so size two and up. And um, obviously, the baby beyond, which I don't really use, but we've got it still. Um, and then these are what do you call them? They're like snowsuits, like they go over the top of um, his regular clothes if it's cold at the time. It's not ever that cold here in Perth, but um, we do have a couple anyway that we've been given as gifts. And um, the second, and this, this is the shelf that I use the most. These are all his clothes. And again, they are arranged in sizing order. So it starts um, with newborn sizes and then zero to three and three to six and whatnot. And I also arrange it um, by uh, sleeve length, I suppose you'd say. Um, so the short sleeves go first, longer sleeves, and then the next size starts again. The short sleeves, longer sleeves, jackets. That kind of thing um, and then on the floor I've got just obviously my tripod um, for my camera um, the these are his like activity mat jungle gym kind of thing um, which I haven't set up yet and I don't need to probably for a couple weeks so they'll go out into the living room as well um, this bouncer here is Taylor's bouncer that she used it is pink but I'm figuring you know I can just put a blue blanket over it and it will be fine <laughs> you can still use it um, so I haven't got rid of that. I've still got that there for him to use. The bottom box is his special box. So it'll have, um, that's where I'll put his, like all the, all the keepsakes that we have from when he is born. So ultrasounds and all that kind of thing will go into this box and that will probably get moved up to the very top shelf as well. Um, and then I think there's just a Fisher Price toy for the bath for when he's a little bit older. And that is his wardrobe. So that's it for the room tour. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I really enjoy putting the room together we only finished off the last couple of pieces a couple of days ago, so um, it didn't feel complete until then. So I'm so glad that we managed to get it done before he was he arrived. Um, I'll have a list of every, where I got everything down in the bottom bar below. So if you're interested in anything, you should be able to find links there. Um, but apart from that, I hope you enjoyed and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.